Hi, it's David Romanofsky. I'm a senior financial planner. I work at the Hopkins Group. I finished a degree in economics uh, and went straight into a, uh, a postgraduate uh, diploma in applied finance and investments. And uh, having worked for 20 years in uh, NAB, in group finance, I was constantly looking at history. I was never looking at future aspirations of either the business uh, or individuals. And I needed to change because I was actually becoming demotivated and I wanted to use my skills in finance and investments to actually help people achieve their goals in the future and that's why I became a financial planner. But my day will actually include many conversations on the telephone, uh, meeting with people, uh, both existing clients and new clients and actually trying to find out what is motivating them to, to be here and talk to me. A lot of people want to make money but I want to know why you want to make money. What is it that you really want to achieve with that money? And in my role I'm very privileged. Uh, I actually see people with a smile on their face when the, their goals are, are achieved over time. Where, where people actually understand how important uh, something is for them, they actually do start to cry. Uh, and, and I do realise when that happens that I've really unearthed what is critically important to them in their life and they're actually being transparent with me to actually help them. They've suddenly had a light bulb moment and they've realised this is fundamental in my life and David can help me. So what attracted me to the Hopkins Group was uh, the practice, not being a bank, uh, being a prime focus on financial planning, which is my expertise, uh, but also being surrounded by other like-minded professionals in accounting, uh, the mortgage group, uh, the property side, uh, the marketing. I thought the business uh, really encapsulated what I believe is the future of financial advice. When people are contemplating uh, employing uh, a professional to be their financial planner, I really ask them to think about their current circumstances and determine, are you achieving what you want to achieve by yourself in isolation? And if you're not, I think you're truly doing yourself a disservice. I think you should be engaging with other parties who have the capacity but also the professionalism to point you and help you achieve um, the requirements over time. So if people are on the front foot, and engage with the right people and personnel to support them over time, it will help them achieve and get to where they want to get to with both more comfort uh, and confidence uh, and then help them just create ease of mind, uh, release some tension and pressure they may have across themselves.